Hi, I'm Pamela Poole, and I live an amazing life as an artist and an author, and I'm having fun this summer. I really like summer as an adventure time, a time to experiment and play and relax and just do some new stuff and reset my mind and not take myself so seriously, So um, and enjoy life while I'm here. So I've been doing some of that. I hope you have too. Um, one of the things I've learned um, today in, in getting ready for this video is that I only have you for about 11 minutes. And down here in the South and in the Low Country, it takes some of us that long to just say, hey, y'all. So I just put the sign up so we got that part over with. And I can go on and talk about art. And so I'm going to try to catch up a little bit with you. But one thing that this is going to do um, is force me to um, any details I would have tried to show you or a demo or anything like that, I'm going to need to do in my blogs on my website because um, there's just not room in an average of 11 minutes. You can go a little longer than that, but average is going to be about 11 minutes. It's not time to show very much going on. In fact, this summer when I was trying some new things because the weather's been like in the triple digits and we've had a lot of storms, I haven't been able to go out with my painting group very much to paint outdoors. And so I've been doing some things more in the studio and I decided to watch some other plein air artists online, keep my mind open, be teachable, see what everybody's doing. And uh, I started trying new materials. So uh, that's gonna be in my newsletter and my blog this week. So I hope you'll follow along. If you're interested in that, just go to PamelaPool.com go to the different tabs in there. You know what the sh you know how to do all this online and find the one that maybe if you don't want to sign up for my newsletter, the newsletter tab, then just go in and look at the past newsletters. Um, I don't put out many newsletters. Mostly they're in the summertime. So it's not like it's going to clog up your inbox if you did sign up and that way you'd be sure that you got uh, what you were looking for. Um, and then I'm, I haven't been blogging, but now I'm forced to because the time limits on YouTube videos, unless I'm wanting to make videos all the time on what I'm doing, then I'm going to need to go back to my blog format more and my, my newsletters more. And so uh, that's where I'll be if you look for me. I'm also on social media, but not the big flashy everybody's there kind of stuff for very good reasons that maybe you should look into if you are. <laughs> but I am on MeWe and I am on, um, True Social is kind of new for me. I'm, I'm only a few weeks. I'm sort of building uh, a presence there. And then I'm on LinkedIn, YouTube, and then my website, you know, there's always this stuff on my website and you can contact me through my website as well. So, to try to hurry and get all this in with my southern drawl, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the plein air painting we have been able to do this summer. Um, I was able to go to a place called Hayward House, which is a historic site locally to me, and I was able to paint the house um, in what I usually take in my watercolor bag, which is just some a brief few little watercolors, a pen and ink, and a sketch pad. Well, it's it's a watercolor sketch pad. And I did do a uh, view of Hayward House in pen and ink. And this is going to be, I've already started an acrylic version of this on canvas, um, which will be maybe towards the end of the summer. All right, all along when, I'm, when I can, I'll be working on that. Another place that was at Hayward House is was in the back. And that's this painting on the easel behind me of the old water pump. And it's called the Old Water Pump at Hayward House. It's original to the property, which was built in 1841. And what drew me to it was how fragile the blooms on the flowers were that were just kind of embracing it with this azalea compared to the sturdiness and the endurance of that old metal pump. So uh, yeah, that intrigued me, but it wasn't a place I could set up to paint because it was in the, the parking lot, near the parking lot, and I would have been in the way of traffic if I had tried to set up and paint that. So that was a studio painting. Um, I did do another plein air painting though of um, this oak tree 
um, as it was leaning over the May River with the Spanish moss and underneath uh, azaleas were blooming. This was at, on the property at the Church of the Cross at the end of Calhoun Street in Bluffton. And I also did a painting of the Church of the Cross that my Bible study leader owns now. She um, goes to that church. So I have been busy with some outdoor things, but just not as busy as I thought I was gonna be. But there's always a silver lining in those clouds. And so what I did was with one of the teachers or just painters that I was following online painting plein air, I was influenced to try a new medium for me, gouache. And yeah, that's a funny word, isn't it? Gouache, like G before the word wash, but that's not how you spell it. It is still hard to spell though. I'm going to have to be careful when I blog about it today because I don't want to have a misspelling in my blog. <coughs> But that was a new to me medium. I had never taken gouache seriously. And if you want to know more about what I learned with it, the techniques and what I thought, um, visit my blog and see what you think. I chose a fun painting to do because it is my fun summer. This was from one of my Sunday trips. Someday I was going to go there. This is from Isla Mirada in the Florida Keys. And a lot of you, if you follow me much, you know that I love to paint old bicycles. And of course, I've stopped still in my tracks when I saw this one. And I just had to take in all that was around it. It's like an old fishing shack or a, a structure put together with maybe pallet wood or something. And then they added all these eclectic items, fishy related or, or bait or something. And it was just a fun scene where they threw in everything but the kitchen sink. And I wanted to keep that vibe, even though I typically have very calm paintings, for a reason. Um, I did this for a reason as well. I left every, most of the kitchen sink in here and tried gouache for the first time. So this is my first ever gouache painting, and you get to see it. And it was um, a lot of fun. And using gouache defied a lot of the things that I have come to think were uh, sturdy and foundational to painting. But I found out that if you switch mediums, you don't always have that. So I did learn a lot and it was, it was a good experience and a fun experience. I'm also getting ready next to um, learn about and blog about something I've never painted with before, and that is watercolor pencils. Uh, they will be fun out in the field, painting plein air. Before, I've only ever used some of these to get little tiny details or sign my name to a painting. I never thought about painting with watercolor pencils. So that's gonna be a new experience too, and it's gonna be another bicycle, only it won't be one from the Florida Keys, it'll be one that my husband got me for Mother's Day one year, and it was full of blooms of flowers. It's never a bike that's meant to be ridden. It's it's like an iron type uh, garden structure. And it was made to be, the baskets on it were made to be filled with flower pots. And so that profusion of colors is what I'm going to do next with the watercolor pencils. I hope you will keep joining me for that. Maybe I'll have time to do a YouTube video with some of it, or maybe um, you'll just have to check my newsletter and my blog to find out what I'm doing. I have one more little thing that I'm gonna try if I can figure out where I put it. This was an impulse buy. Um, I didn't think about trying something like this, but I'm in such a spirit of adventure, why not? And it is watercolor markers. And this is the plein air set of the Faber-Castell. So it's gonna to be toned down. These aren't bright colors. These are what you typically find in nature, and there's only five colors, but you can mix them. Uh, um, if you know anything about watercolor, you know that you can mix and get tones that you want. I have a feeling that the kind of paper I typically use, my Arsh, like 140 or 300 pound papers, that are cotton and they, so they, they soak up a lot of your media. They, um, but they have a sparkle because of the rough uh, finish on them. So I really like that paper. But I think it's gonna soak up too much of a marker 
before I get a chance to dilute it with water. So I'm probably gonna work with these over on the side in a palette with some water and a brush, and then bring that paint from the brush onto a piece of paper, just to try and see what I think and get it figured out and find out what I can do with these little babies. So that's all for today. I may have gone over my 11 minutes. I hope you're still with me. And I hope that you have a great day, that you go do something you really like. If you're not the creative type with a hobby or whatever, then just go do something you do like to do. Go um, see something that maybe you, it's been on your someday list. Someday I'm gonna go do that. Go do it. Make the time, life is short, you know, just don't take yourself so seriously and don't take other people so seriously. Live and let live. Let them be what they're going to be, you know, and just be gracious and love the world, love life and the world you're in right now and look for the opportunities that the Lord has for you to do some other things that glorify Him. That's all for today. See you later. Bye-bye.